second part, the second part is here where I want to show you the different types of weight. So obviously, um, here, I think in a in a common in a base test, you have some implicit weight which is nine seconds. So for nine seconds, we're gonna try and check um, the presence of the element. But if you type, for example, here one or two seconds. It will just try for one second, two seconds, and if it's not there, then it's not gonna wait, even not try to wait for that. So that's why ideally on the projects, the simplicity weight is set to minimum, like four, five seconds, and the rest of the cases, um, for example, over here, we open the, we send the case, a key, send kiss, and then uh, we click on the magnified glass and then <clears throat> we do the refresh and while doing the refresh this element probably wouldn't be um, present so in that case and if if the element is not present within this for example for four seconds implicit weight then I would prefer to use explicit 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 um, weight right so you can read about that on this uh, article so here it explains the implicit weight and this part it explains the explicit weight in explicit weight you have specific actions to wait until completeness of this uh, actions for example wait until visibility or invisibility presence on not presence text to be present etc so that's how it looks over here. They showing that they still set in the implicit weight in their case, it's just 10 seconds. And then if the load of the element takes more than 10 seconds, they have additional 30 seconds for specific action visibility of element located by XPath. So you can even read that. Expected conditions, wait until expected conditions visibility of element by XPath. The same we can practice here. It's not needed for target example. This is a target.com. It, it's pretty quick. You don't you, you, you cover that by the 10 seconds of implicit weight, or even nine seconds. But if you would prefer trying something like that here, so what you're gonna need to do is web driver weight is your first step. So here you set the duration of seconds, you can set of uh, minutes of whatever you want right <clears throat> then after here you go like wait until expected conditions dot and then visibility of element and then you can pass the the same x pass over here and then it will for sure wait for like 20 seconds if if this specific step takes longer than implicit weight that you said before, then it really makes sense to do. So in this, in this case, just, just for demo purposes, we run that, it's gonna run the same, nothing gonna change. Um, basically, it's gonna <coughs> simply, um, you know, add additional step to wait until visibility after the refresh. So sometimes the refresh, you might have internet connection issue there, you know, the loading of the website just specifically for your laptop might take like longer than usually 10 seconds. And here you can see a little gap, um, but yeah, that's it. You see it works the same way um, basically. So nothing has changed, but this is a very important um, explicit weight and, and you can find many other wait until um, some attributes contain some text etc etc this is a very important one okay thank you guys